Hello, this is Silas here with new ad on a page. As always, first step is to gesso my page. I use two layers of gesso. Then I draw just simple sketch of a skyline, so I would see where the skyline ends and where starts sky. I wanted to my sky looks like galaxy, so if you are looking for some really easy way how to paint simple galaxy, this tutorial is just for you. For applying paints, I am using sponge uh, for applying makeup. My paints are quite thick, I just use little bit water to thin it down, but uh, not too much because it would be harder to create all the texture I need. I am working in several layers, not trying to blend colors very much together, uh, but I am trying for colors to overlap each other. When I am happy with the color, I came back with the white paint to create this haze look. In some places I am trying to blend the color almost completely in order to get the soft transitions between each color. When I am happy with the soft white transitions, I added on some places dark blue and pink to get more depth and final layer is again white, but this time I am not trying to blend the white, but I want it to be visible and create more texture. For stars I am simply adding white acrylic spatters. The paint needs to be quite watered down for this and I am trying to get some really small dots as the start most distant from us but also the big one which are much closer. Because I couldn't get with the sponge in the spine of the book I just came back with the brush and little bit of paint. Now it's time to move on to painting the city skyline. As you can see I draw the sketch of city skyline with pencil and now I am painting the closest building with uh, black paint mixed with little bit of dark blue. And now I am starting to paint more distant buildings. For the first layers I am using mostly a mix of black, white and blue, but I don't want to every building has the same shade of color, so I am changing the mix little bit on each building. Later I will also add little bit of pinks into mix, as my sky reflects little bit into some buildings. In the first layer I don't care much if the color is transparent and not covering the sky completely, and also if my lines aren't completely straight because I will be adding more layers and also adjust colors later. I wanted just to get the base layer of paint on the paper. Uh, the only thing I am trying to follow is that more distant building has the paler color and for the last one I want to be almost completely blended in within the sky. You could also see me using the big brush with the red handle. It's a makeup brush and I am usually using it for blending, but in this case I am using it to get rid of some bigger brush strokes while the paint is still wet.
When I am happy with the colors of the building, it's time to add some lights in the windows. I am using the mix of white and Naples yellow and I am trying not to follow any pattern, uh, just to color it randomly. Now it's time to stamp my fairies. Uh, for stamping I am using as always black archival ink. I'm really sorry but I forgot to turn on my camera when I started stamping and I've noted it after I stamped first two fairies on the right side of my journal. Uh, also for stamping I am using acrylic block but because my art journal is almost completely full and the surface is really uneven it's literally almost impossible to get perfect result while stamping. But I really don't mind, I am just trying to get the outlines of the fairies and I will later come back with black acrylic paint and fill the blank spaces uh, as I'm doing now. Uh, this really needs to be done because as you can see the impression is really not good. I am using really thin brush uh, but for the smallest tiniest, li tiniest lines uh, like hairs, wings or fingers I will be using a thin marker. And as always I want to remind you that the list of all supplies used in this video you can find in the description under the video or in my blog. When I was happy with the fairies, I wrote the word magic with the pencil and then I followed the outline with embossing pen. Then I put black embossing powder on top of it and I melted it with heat gun. Because I wasn't happy how the first letter uh, came out, I came back with embossing pen again and I repeat the whole process to make the first letter a little bit thicker. When I am done with embossing, it's time to finish my skyline. I am adding here white fog as if coming behind the first line of buildings. I am using for that straight white paint uh, watered down quite a bit and building the fog in several layers because I didn't want to overdo this. I didn't mind if I make a little bit mess uh, also in the black area because while the paint is still wet I always use clean brush with little bit water to clean the line and also I will be coming back uh, later with uh, black paint to clean more the outline.
Now I'm finally finished with the skyline and it's time to add some final details. Now I'm using white gel pen and adding some white stars into my sky. And now I'm using my favorite glitter glue, uh, this time silver, and I am adding the glitter on the wings of the fairies and also on the stars. The last step on this journal is to add the last part of my quote and for that I am using white gel pen and this page is finished. As always don't forget to check out the final photos of the project in the end of this video and also some really close shoots when you can see all the details. Thank you all for your attention, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you all and have a nice day. Bye bye!